असलम स्टूडेंट्स लर्नर फ्रेंड्स आज का हमारा टॉपिक हमारे चैनल जाफर्स बायोलॉजी पे कौन सा है जनाब ब्रायोपसीडा है जो कि हमने क्लासिफिकेशन स्टार्ट की थी ब्रायोफाइडा की और उसकी दूसरी क्लास ब्रायोपसीडा के अबाउट डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं जबकि प्रीवियसली हमने एप्टिक ऑप्सीडा के अबाउट डिस्कस किया था ब्रायोपसीडा क्या है ब्रायोपसीडा को इस क्लास से ताल्लुक रखने वाले इस ग्रुप से ताल्लुक रखने वाले ब्रायोफाइटा को ट्रू मोसिस कहा जाता है क्या कहा जाता है ट्रू मोसिस कहा जाता है इसमें क्या कहा जाता है पहली बात तो है कि इसको ट्रू मोसिस के नाम से जानते हैं किन को ब्रायोपसीडा को और 95 परसेंट मोसेस पाए जाते हैं ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड पूरी दुनिया में वर्ल्ड वाइड इस ब्रायोपसीडा से ताल्लुक रखने वाले मोसेस 95 परसेंट पाए जाते हैं अब ये चीज है 95 परसेंट पाए जाते हैं और इसकी स्पीशीज लगभग 11,000 and 500 species are present there all around the world all around the world 11000 and 500 species are present which belongs to group of bryophyta called as bryopsida but the question is this Where these bryopsida called as mosses? Why these are called as mosses? Moss, mosses is the name given to that one small plant. Moss, mosses is the name that is given to to that one small green. flowerless plant green flowerless plant which have which has its rhizoid not true roots not true roots but have rhizoids it has stem like structure seeta and capsule the capsule is the structure where there sporophyte present you can see that you can say that the plant body of bryopsida is a gametophyte is the dominant stage of bryopsida bryophyta is gametophyte but gametophyte has rhizoids acting like roots but are not true roots they have they have stem like structures seeta and upon the stem like structures they have leaf like structures not true leaves just like before have stem like structure not true stem have leaf like structures but not true leaves and a spike like structure a neck like structure this neck like structure will be called as stem this is here rhizoid this is called rhizoid present in <clears throat> gametophyte of brapsida gametophyte of moss which help which help them to anchor at land just like a true roots but these will not be called as roots no here these are leaf like structures not two leaves present upon parent gametophyte and a neck like structure thin 
thin neck like structure is present there will be called as seta which bear a swollen structure called as capsule swollen structure which will be called as which called as which named as capsule and capsule is that one structure which have in it which has in it a mature sporophyte a mature sporophyte is present in capsule now you will be able to learn that a capsule has mature sporophyte and you are here to see that a capsule is attached with a seta capsule is attached with parent gametophyte here this is capsule inside the capsule mature sporophyte is present in this way in this way you can see that and say that in capsule sporophyte is present but not obvious sporophyte present this is indivisible sporophyte present into capsule that's why we can say that the dominant structure the dominant structure of most the dominant structure of bryopsida is gametophyte and gametophyte its stem its seta its leaves has green color due to green color they are involved in performing photosynthesis and as a result of photosynthesis they can synthesize they can produce its its own food its food for its nourishment in the form of glucose monosaccharide but not here sporophyte will be able to synthesize its food you can see here sporophyte present in capsule is attached at gametophyte sporophyte is dependent not independent gametophyte is independent here the green color is showing that the green color is showing that this male this paired gametophyte is able is able to synthesize its food now we are going to discuss is more that 11500 species are present in bryopsida along all over the world but these types these plants of bryopsida are called true mosses and true mosses are called because these are small plant flowerless plant green plant and having gametophyte in uh, its dominant structure these are called mosses and these have rhizoid in spite of true roots that's why these are called mosses now mosses are present are present in a damp places at a damp places there are damp places where their water will be present where their aquatic environment will be present but the question is this is this type of bryopsida either the types of mosses will not be able will not be able to grow at land sites without water is this is this there a situation of mosses to grow 
at a uh, landslide where their water is not present? No, not at all. They can grow. They can grow at that site where their water may absent. Water may be absent. They can grow there. But for their complete life cycle, for their reproduction, they must require the aquatic environment. They can grow at land site, but they must require aquatic environment for their nourishment, for their reproduction. Now we are going to discuss about its life cycle. But hey, some plants of there, some plants like mosses are there which have their reproductive structures at the same plant but at different branches at same plant at one plant this this you can say that my hand is like a say like a one plant one moss and have five fingers here these five fingers are different branches my hand is acting like my hand will be considered. Suppose that this is a moss, this is a brapsid, a plant. One plant have five branches, five different branches. One branch will bear anthrocyte, another branch will bear archegonia. The archegonia bearing branch at one plant, same plant, called as archegoniophore. And anthrozoite, a male gamete, archegonia, female gamete, and anthrozoite is a male gamete. Anthrozoite bearing branch of a moss, of a brapsida plant, will be called as and 3D4. Now we can discuss that Archegonia and Anthidia are present at the tip of their respective branches. At the tip of their respective branches. When in the situation they are a same plant bear Archegonia 4 and also in 3D4, you can say that male branch bearing anthrozoid and a female branch bearing archegonium or egg at the same plant in this condition. The example is funeria. Example is funeria. Funeria is a bryopsida. Funeria is a bryopsida at the same plant, at the same plant where both of branches, sexual branches, where both of sexual branches is the example of bryopsida is funeria. No, another situation is there in Bryopsida, a plant which may differ in res with respect to sexual reproduction from other plant of same species. Meaning, you can say that of a same species belonging to same species of Bryopsida belonging to same species of moss one plant only only and only bear only and only bear and tridia male gamete and other one another one plant of same species another one plant of same species of mosses are bryopsida bear female gamete and are archegonium force mean 
belonging to same species but plants are different the plants which bear and tridiophore the plant which bear archegoniophore the plant which bear and tridia bearing branches male gamete bear branches another one plant of belong belonging to same species and bearing branches archegoniophore in this respect in this respect the example is polytrichum example is polytrichum which bear male plant and also female plant but in this condition the anthidia and archegonia present at archegonia for anthidia for farming like a structure is called clustering structure is there form a clustering structure group of structure and this clustering structure have around it sterile hairs sterile hair like structure sterile hairs mean these type of hairs are present around the sex structure but not involved in the reproduction the structure the hair like structure present around the sexual structures and tridia or archegonia but itself these structures are not involved in the reproduction that's why this structure the hair like structures present around anthidia present around archegonia are called paraphyses are called paraphyses again i called it paraphyses again i called it paraphyses the hair like structures clustering structures are present around the anthidia present around the archegonia called as paraphyses but not involved in the reproduction these are sterile structures now come to the point of the life cycle of mosses here is the parent gametophyte bearing rhizoid leaf like structure seta and capsule in the capsule is the mature sporophyte the capsule will be cut off will be released and from the capsule a structure which surrounding which surround the capsule like structure which protect the mature sporophyte that is called calyptra that is called calyptra protective covering which is is protective covering present present around the capsule present around the mature sporophyte and when calyptra is removed there is mature sporophyte there is the spore case there is a spore case in spore case in at the tip of spore case is just like a covering just like a covering just like a covering is called upper coulomb when upper coulomb is removed when upper coulomb is removed then upper coulomb when upper coulomb is removed from the case of spore spore case in the spore case when upper coulomb is removed spore case release its spores outside from it spores are released from spore case after removal of upper coulomb removal of upper coulomb upper coulomb is the protective covering present at spore case these spores are released these spores are released after the after the cell cycle is meiosis after meiosis spores are released you are well familiar about the cell cycle meiosis death in this cycle 
chromosomes will remain half of their parent cells. Now, his spores are formed and you can say that these spores have applied number of chromosomes as compared to its parent cells. There are spores and applied number chromosome bearing spores. Each and every one spore will germinate. Each and every spore will germinate but not directly germinate to form gametophyte just like as previously previously in haptic obsida or liver worms where they are supposed directly germinate and form gametophyte but not here here spores germinate and form a protonema structure protonema what is protonema protonema is filamentous branch like structure filamentous branch like structure short living structure protonema is protonema is short structure short living structure leafy structure branch structure filamentous structure which germinate which produce from spores and this will be a protonema and also this will be a protonema because all the spores are going to form protonema all the spores are going to germinate protonema from protonema this like structure will be called as bud bud is produced from protonema and from bud of protonema from bud of protonema gametophyte germinate now here you can see that gametophyte is not directly germinating from spores gametophyte is not directly produced from spores because gametophyte is produced from a plant but which rise from a protonema and protonema germinate from spores and here is female gametophyte and male gametophyte female gametophyte bear archegonia and in its archegonium for archegonium four and at archegonium four archegonium is present this is the life cycle of most this is the life cycle of polytrichum because here you can see that there is a female gametophyte here is a male gametophyte and this case is in polytrichum where they belonging to same species one is male gametophyte another one is female gametophyte male gametophyte contain bear male gametophyte bear the branches archegonium 4 and male gametophyte bears the branches anthidiophore here is anthidium from male gametophyte here is archegonium from female gametophyte here is at present at are in archegonium and anthidia from anthidium uh, anthidium anthidiozoids from anthidium this anthidiozoid is released these anthidiozoids are released to come to the archegonium into archegonium they fertilize egg they fertilize egg and form zygote zygote is two and number diploid number these are diploid number the egg form in the female gametophyte and therozoite form in the male gametophyte from mitosis because female gametophyte is also haploid male gametophyte is also haploid you can see the hair from meiosis spores produce and spores directly form protonema and haploid spores will form haploid protonema haploid protonema form haploid male or female gametophyte and from haploid male or female gametophyte after the result of mitosis egg and anthidiozoids are produced which are also haploid and they fertilize into archegonium and form zygote which is 2n number diploid number and from zygote 
developing sporophyte in archegonium and will mature in capsule this was the life cycle of polytrichum you can say that the life cycle of polytrichum the life cycle of mosses the life cycle of bryopsida in different terms you can call it but the same and single one life cycle is present here if you like it if you like to listen then share it with your friends with your fellows and if you are not able to subscribe the channel then also subscribe the channel allah